Hello, welcome everybody to another modern stream. Today we're going to be playing some Amulet, of course. Uh, Canister got second in this past weekend's challenge with a very, very interesting list. And with a card that I've been willing to try for a while at this point, Abundant Harvest. This is um, a card that we have seen around for a while uh, because it was part of the Mystical Archives cards in Strixhaven, but it was only made legal with the release of Modern Horizons. It's a, it's a powerful cantrip, one mana, you choose land or no land, you re reveal cards from the top of your library until you reveal a card of the chosen kind. You put that card into your hand and the rest in the bottom of your library in a random order. So if you need a, to hit your land drops, you just name land. If you need to find some action, you can say no land. I am a little bit skeptical about this card because when you need a land, very often you don't need any land, you need something very specific, particularly you're very often looking for, for a, a Gruel Turf or, or semi growth Chamber, like any sort of bounce land. Um, and whenever you're looking for business, you need to find Primeval Titan and finding, you know, either Amulet or Gracer, Expedition Map, like all of these cards don't really do anything for you. So, um, because of that, I'm a little bit skeptical about the card, uh, but honestly, like the only reasonable and the only responsible thing to be doing right now is to test this list. Clearly, it's pretty good because, well, Carnister got second in the uh, challenge with. Um, another interesting thing is that he was playing 61 cards in the main deck and 14 cards in the sideboard so that you can, you know, make room for the Ghost Quarter in the main deck. And then in both sideboard games, uh, you can just uh, sideboard back to 60 cards for games two and three. I am not a big fan of this uh, this concept. Uh, I tried it in the past and I just disliked it every time I tried it out. Um, and it even loses a little bit of uh, steam, in my opinion, when you still have a couple of, of <laughs> you know, like utility lands in your sideboard, even still. So I, anyway, no, we're, we're gonna give it a shot. Like it, it, the very old thing is that Ursa Saga really pushes your mana in a certain direction because like you, now you're stuck with a bunch of colorless lands. Um, I'm saying that as if it is a bad thing. Like this card is obviously broken and it will get banned in my opinion, or it, at least I think it has to get banned. But um, still in terms of the color requirements of, of, of the, the archetype, this doesn't really produce anything for you. Um, but yeah, obviously getting an amulet is busted, right? But uh, besides that, the only other thing that I wanted to touch real quick is on the Hangworld Battlements. Um, I think that playing Battlements makes sense when you're playing Abundant Harvest because you are uh, cutting lands in order to make room for Abundant Harvest. Like otherwise, uh, like at least you're cutting one land. Um, so you want to make sure that you have the mana to cast the card Harvest always. Like you never ever want to not be able to cast it. So by cutting both the uh, the double strike land, the sun home, and by also cutting the Boros garrison, you make room for another green bounce land. In this case, Gold Guy Rod Farm, and um, you also make it uh, you make it uh, easier for you to fit a second fetch land, which makes it again easier to cast your abundant harvest. So I think that's pretty that's a pretty cool, um, pretty cool adaptation. Uh, even though I don't like this card personally, I always always liked the Boros uh, garrison uh, battlements. Uh, Sorry, the Stronghold uh, Sun Home thing. Um, I think that it's, it's the responsible thing to do. Let's put it that way. It's the responsible thing to do. Uh, as far as the sideboard, it's uh, fairly straightforward. We have some more gracers for matchups uh, that are aggressive where we really need to ramp and we need to throw uh, a, little bit of a, a little bit of a bump in the way. Uh, dismember against uh, creatures, uh, creature decks, uh, Pact of Negation against combo, Tracker against mid range, uh, just uh, against the artifact enchantment decks that we see nowadays, even against uh, opposing Ursa Saga, both Foundation Breaker and Force of Vigor are ex excellent. Bog against Graveyard Strategies, uh, Fountain against Aggro, Needle, uh, because it's a card that we can find off of Ursa Saga, and in the matchups where it's good, it's very, very good. One Explosives and one Emrakul, the, the Aeon Storm, even though we're probably going to still lose to Mill, even though we have the Emrakul. If you enjoyed the content, make sure you click on that uh, follow uh, and that like and subscribe buttons, and I will see you in the next, for the round number one. Alright, welcome to round number one. 
this hand sucks but note and this is this is something that a lot of people I've, I've been hearing a lot of people say and it's just like oh yeah castle is just so good what would you you always have to play for castle i always hate when people speak in absolutes when it, with anything related to amulet but like imagine if this hand was if this was a basic forest or like any any, any tb untapped green source um there's a lot of there's a lot of diminishing returns with having four copies of this card but now we're forced to mull again because our hand didn't do anything. Uh, this hand doesn't have ramp, uh, which is honestly a problematic thing. But um, I think this may just be fine because we have Saga, so we can go turn one Saga. Turn one Saga, turn two Saga, turn three Amulet, turn four Amulet, kill you. Okay. You're in OC. Um, I think I'm just just playing out the second saga. I think. And then I can go forest. Bolt your face. Okay. Is this good old Janda? Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Um, Scott, thank you so much for the tier one sub. Welcome back for the nine months. I can do that. Float some mana. Find an amulet. Make a free two two. Pass the turn. My opponent's dead next turn. Oh yeah, Ursa Saga. Yeah, I I, I streamed it last week, um, Kina, and, and it was it was pretty cool. Like it was it was not embarrassing like the previous time that I streamed it. <laughs> the previous time that I streamed it, it was really bad. But um, but I streamed it this time around, and it was actually quite powerful. Uh, yeah, I can't kill next turn. Just battlement showing how bad it is. Uh, to be fair, though, like we don't really need to kill because my opponent's playing Jund. But if my opponent were playing a combo deck, like we would probably lose this game because we we have battlements. Because we're not gonna have enough lands in play, right? Like I would need to play bounce lands in order to in order to play to pack for a dryad. So like it it would just not do anything for me. Yeah, my opponent's playing John, so it doesn't matter. Unplayable deck is unplayable. I wonder what needs to possess you, right? What needs to possess you in order for you to be like, you know what? I'm gonna play John today. I am going to play Jund. Yes, you heard me. I am going to choose willingly submit Jund for a modern league. Old habits die are, that's fair. That's fair. Can't argue with that. Can't argue with that. Um, what do I want to cut here? I don't want to cut one of the packs because my opponent is definitely going to be bringing in some Mashiox. Maybe shave one of the cantrip. And one fetch land. If we're thinking of Ashiok. Super digging this like Retrive Scout and Ursa Saga interaction. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Canister. Very, very apt raid. Welcome everybody from Canister stream. We are indeed playing uh, Canister's list. Congratulations on the second play finish. Second place finish, sorry. How did your stream go?
Candy Looter, indeed. Indeed. Oh man. I need to look into... I need to look into this. Tig, me think about the follow. I need to look into these emotes. Like, they look pretty dope. Why not lead on Saga? Because I can't get value from the Saga. If I lead on Saga, then I cannot, I cannot make a construct. Now, if I, by playing the Saga on two, now I can make a, I can make a contract construct on turn three. <laughs> God damn! <laughs> God damn it, Kinnan. Thank you for the dono. Thank you. For, I now I have to go play Junt. Damn it. Is there any Junt lists anymore? What is a Junt list anymore? Uh, I think I've just been in the bog here. Thank you so much, man. So now we play Castle. And... If we find a bounce line off the top, we can just tighten them next turn. Opponent is down with two cards after this discard, so... Can I bin this Primeval Titan, or do I need to bin the Battlements? I don't think I can bin the Vesuva. Oh, we just go get... We can go get Expedition Map, I guess. Yeah, I guess I guess that we can bin the Vesuva, actually. Because we can just go find Expedition Map if we need to. Oh, Vesuva Stomping Ground. Yeah, that, that was actually the play. All right, so I guess that being in the Vesuva was the worst possible case scenario. Whoops. Still getting familiarized myself with the with the Ursa Saga patterns. Never mind, never punished, I guess. Uh, we can't haste the Titan though, so I guess that what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna get a. Um, hmm. I could just get Python Needle. I can Python Needle Liliana. I just need a Liliana. Play, bounce, cast, titan. Titan finds two words of saga, so my opponent can never ever win. Yeah, that actually sounds fine. So, bite a needle. Liliana, off the veil. Because I'm going to have to pitch something to the Croxa, right? My opponent is just going to get back the Croxa. So this is Titan mana. Cast prime time. And I guess we're gonna ban the forest. Yeah, never mind. It just doesn't matter because my opponent's deck is just just embarrassing. See you for the next round. Round number two. Well this hand is super awkward, but I guess I keep it. We can go turn one castle, turn two abundant harvest. Can punch you with a T1 sub. Welcome back. For the 22nd months. A lot of months. We'll be playing this weekend at the Tampa TCG Con. Nice. Five months of Titanic Con. And says Simek with the tier one sub. Welcome back. Welcome, welcome back. Thespian stage also has some nice interaction with Saga. Yes, it's just bad though. Thespian State is just a really bad card. How has the harvest been? I have not casted a single time yet. 
So I have no idea. Am I really playing against Jund again? What is going on? Why am I playing against back-to-back -back John players? <sighs> I have to cast here because I'm otherwise not doing anything with my mana. I think I'm gonna name non-land actually, because I can find an amulet. Another Dryad, I guess it's fine. But now next turn we can go Saga into Dryad into, uh, into Abundant Harvest, and this one is gonna find the land. But the poten I think because of the potential of finding amulet, we were supposed to do that there. Because finding amulet would mean that I would want to hold on to the semi growth chamber. I just copied and pasted Canister's list. Changed nothing. I've not dropped money in MH cards yet. Been enjoying other games and not spending bad loads on MTG. Yeah, that's a move. That's a move for sure. We got a Ren. Another Discur spell? Nope. Here's Saga. So I think the likelihood of this Dryad dying is pretty high. So I'm just going to Vesuva copy my opponent's over Rune Tomb. And now I have guaranteed Titan mana next turn. And if my opponent doesn't answer the Dryad, okay, they do. I don't have Bujugabong in the main deck, which is annoying. Three cards in hand for opponent. Void Walker, <laughs> classic combo. Classic combo. Play Castle. Play Prime Mule. This is pretty scary though. Like the fact that my opponent can play their own prime time. Obviously, their prime time is gonna suck, and ours is, you know. It's gonna be a lot better, but still. So this is five, six, seven, eight, nine. I still think I wanna go for Valakut. Because I have uh, effectively double Dryad in hand. And this should be lethal next turn. So if they have Liliana, they minus, they kill my Titan, they cast my Titan of the Dothy Void Walker, but then I untap, I play Dryad, and I kill them, so that doesn't seem like a good deal for them. <laughs> I do think I'm gonna I'm gonna block the Tarn Goif. Definitely blocking the Goif. This means that my opponent can just minus the rent, but like it doesn't matter. Like it just gets the goif off the table, and I don't want to die to like double lightning bolt or something stupid like that, you know. So definitely taking this block. Sun Homan Slayer non necessary could with wins with dried. That's a little bit uh, simplistic. That's a little bit overly simplistic. It's not quite like that, straight up. There are some situations where you just don't have Dryad. Yeah, you're, you're, you're fine, Malathy. What's Is there a problem? Uh, so this is just lethal, right? This is 6, 12. Yeah, we're good. Should I make a token for value? I guess I'm just gonna make a token for value. I know I could cast a Primeval Titan instead, but you know. 
I can also just kill my opponent. Your face! Face is the place. Face is the place. Back to back Jandos. That is. <laughs> what year is this? God damn. Uh, well, we, we cut that, we cut that, we cut the ghost quarter. And I think I. Oh, I cut this because I was trying to think of Ashiok. So those are the cards that I cut. Not having to run red white bounce on this kind of pog. Uh, it is good. Like obviously, you'd rather you'd rather draw any other green. Uh, you'd rather uh, just have in your deck any other green bounce land as opposed to any bounce land that does not produce green. Sure. Want to keep seven? Do I value the construct or do I value having amulet? Do I value the construct or do I value having amulet? If I go turn one saga, I play the expedition map, whatever, um, then turn two, I can't try it and I can't make a token. Then turn three, my saga dies. I can then play it drier than a second. I guess I can go turn one Saga, turn two Saga too. Yeah, I guess I'm gonna do that. I, I guess that because I have the second Saga, I am fine doing this because this means that if my stuff doesn't die, I just get to, I just get to run my opponent over. Yeah, yeah, I, I usually, it's just like an auto, like a tick. I don't know, like, what, what's the word? Like, um, something that I do without thinking, and then I, I, I keep doing it, and then just undoing it, and then doing it, and undoing it. It's, it's kind of stupid. Muscle memory, yeah. What a stupid card, man. Now that my opponent has the Thoughtseize, I kind of regret the uh, leading on Saga. Matt, thank you so much for the tier 1 sub. Welcome back to the Primetime Stronghold. Always a pleasure to have you here. Uh, that was a really good draw. So now we play this, and now my opponent needs to have another Disco spell, otherwise they get Titan next turn. It was almost closed for a second, and then it just wasn't. <laughs> What's this, Blood Braid? So my opponent is gonna need Ashiok or something like that. Inquisition. Okay, that does it. Annoying, pretty annoying, but. So if we did draw a Titan off the top, we probably win. 
That's a blank. But Jugibog doesn't really help me, and if they have, I guess, a Croxa or a Bolt or something like that, I'm in a lot of trouble. I can't really let this die. Wait, what? Does that mean they have Double Bolt, so it's the same? They have Double Bolt. Oh, Ren. Hmm. Why not get T West and transmute? I'm not really developing my mana if I do that, right? Like I can get T West here. Does that do anything though? Is there anything I can get here? But Juke Ball, I can bog myself. Go if becomes a 2 3. Radiant Fountain. I did not cut Radiant Fountain. There's two Radiant Fountains in the list. But Fountain doesn't do anything for me, though. Bog does do something for me. Another Saga, I guess another Saga also does something for me because it gives me another Chump Blocker. It gives me another Chump Blocker for next turn, so I'm going to go for another Saga. Okay, so, oh, uh, I'm stupid. I, me I meant to click on this. I meant to click on this, then we can explore. I fucked this up. Damn it, I'm playing like shit today. Saved, I guess. Play this, make construct, pass the turn. We're not gonna get to trigger though. We're gonna be one land off. Inquisition resolves. Corner Macabre with the Prime Sub. Welcome back for the 14 months. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So opponent attacks with both. I think I have to block here, right? Because if I go to one, I'm dead over two turns to the Ren. So this means that now the Ren kills the Dryad, which obviously sucks, but no cards in hand for our opponent. Draw another blank. Make a construct. Name. Ran and six. Play a land. Make another one of these. Now there are five fives. So 
Is my opponent really going to just lose to this land? Is this the world we live in? Is this really the world we live in? Would Lily be better to name? Uh, no, because this uh, this makes Lightning Bolt a good draw. And it makes Liliana a better draw as well. Just, just mad that you don't have to make do Titan Mass as much anymore. Yeah. Not only people are still playing John, but I went, I played against back-to-back Jant gamers. I don't understand how that's even a thing. I'm gonna hold on to this because of like a command and stuff. I think I just attack. They have a force chump. Thoughts and endurance. I think it's really good. Maelstrom pulls? <laughs> Getting paired against the Amulet Mastermind, Jose. My co-host, co-host of the Titan Talk podcast. Um, yeah, this this just doesn't work, right? Like this hand is just shit. Uh, we are very likely playing the mirror for what's worth. Let's go to five. Okay, so keep this. Bottom that. Bottom that. So we can go turn one amulet. Turn two to Lyria West. We can't. We take it from there. Oh, hello. Hello. First of figure gonna be insane here. Yeah, first of figure is extremely, extremely good in the mirror match. I think we chill. Just pass the turn. We win in a couple. Uh, maybe we don't because we don't have we don't have Sun Home, so we may just not win. The incorrect explore arts. So if I find exactly Amulet of Vigor, I can win. So I should probably try to do that. Hey, hey, hey. Perfect. Well, I mean, I, 
I win next turn, but I think I'm not gonna have a next turn. I don't think I'm gonna have another turn. I guess if I find Dryad, I can win. But now I need to draw Dryad, otherwise I, I'm not doing anything. I have Ghost Quarter, so I can potentially disrupt my opponent enough so I, ca I can't lose, which is effectively the same as winning. But I don't think I can, I'm, I don't think I'm gonna get there. So Battlements sucking twice already. Battlements just punishing me twice so far. I didn't count whether he was playing 61 or not. He may also be playing Canister's list. 6 plus 6, 2, 3, yeah, he's playing 61. Canister's Battlements, fun boy. Fair. I mean, it sucked there. I spent one mana and I got nothing out of the deal. Yeah, not now, obviously. Like the fact that my opponent plays the Titan, just... So we have to find exactly Dryad. If we find exact, we have two looks. We have our draw step, and then we have this abundant harvest, which can potentially find us a dryad. If we find the dryad, maybe we can stabilize, because we have a second fetch land. Okay, so he has Bordos in hand. No, he doesn't. Wait, what? Oh, he has Dryad in hand. That's a lot worse. <laughs> that is a lot worse. Yeah, we're just dead here. Yep. Oops. Dropped something. Dismembers. Uh, Force of Vigor. Foundation Breaker. These are the cards that I like. This can go, this can go. Hmm. I guess maybe on the play I can cut the dismembers and then I'm gonna bring them in on the draw. I tried cutting expedition map in previous leagues and it was I was always super punished by it. So I, I think that it is it is just correct to keep the expedition map always. Mm. You get flooded on one drops if you don't cut explores. Explore just fits your your mana curve a lot better. Am I really mulliganing this? There's no way I'm mulliganing this, right? Like we just just have to keep it. I get, I I could I could very very well lose with this hand. I could very very well lose with this hand, but I I think I have to keep it.
Okay, so that's Titan Mana next turn. Which is good. I like Titan Mana. I have to go squatter myself, which is not pretty, but... Play Rod Farm. Did I just fuck this up? I think I fucked this up. I think I had to play a Gracer last turn. I think I had to play Gracer last turn so I could have access to more green sources. And now I'm short one green, yeah. Because I was thinking I don't want to have to bounce my bounce land again, and I can do that on the following turn when I have more information about my draw step, but I forgot to realize that I needed another green source. I think what's gonna happen here is that you say it's gonna go squatter me though. I can blow up the own bounce land, but I can I I am out of Ghost Quarter at that point, and I need to make sure that I don't die to my opponent's Ghost Quarter. I think I should be fine. But I'm trying to figure out if I have any way that I can forego that. Untapping with a Primeval Titan seems very tempting though. So I think I'm I'm just gonna go for that. It's really awkward. It's really, really awkward. <laughs> he says show off. <laughs> God damn it, you said. I think we go Saga plus another castle. How his hand were feeling? I mean, right there it was pretty good, right? Because if I had if I had a Borders Garrison, I would have probably lost to the Ghost Quarter, or or there, at least there's a there's a combination of cards that I could lose lose to there. And here he just put one more land into play. I mean, if he has Dryad here, I may just be dead anyway. Yeah, he does have Dryad, so I may just be dead here, anyways. So I drew a blank. Haven't played my land. I can go get Second Toleria Placimid Growth Chamber. Attack, yes. So I can do Toleria West and Growth Chamber. But I can't kill the Dryad, I'm one land drop short. Like, I can, I can play the Dryad. I can play the Dryad, but it just doesn't do anything for me.
Yeah, I don't know if I'm getting it next turn. I'm trying to think if I should transmit. I guess transmitting here doesn't really do anything for me. Well, actually it does because I don't have another blue, so I have to transmute now. The T was was if the dry I would have died. It was the downside of that. No, uh, I I can't transmute if I do that. I need double blue to transmute. So if he has Titan six, uh, they kill my Titan. But maybe he he doesn't have an amulet, so he can't go squatter my Valak. And maybe I should have protected Valak there actually. I can expedition map off of this. Oh, he does have ghost quarter. Never mind. Okay, so we are in a lot of trouble. Especially because he's going to have access to a fetch land. Ugh. Okay, yeah. fortunately for me, he could not set up lethal. Okay. Now we're good, I think. One, two, three. So what I was gonna do is I was gonna to, um, I was going to go get Expedition Map, the crack map to go get second Valakut, and then I was going to use the Valakut to pack for dry. But now that I drew a prime time, I think we should be good to go here. So I'm just gonna float the mana, get another amulet, and just kill him real dead. Jinska with the prime sub. Welcome to the prime time short hold, Jinska. Hope you are enjoying your stay. On the draw, I care about this member a little bit more. That's kind of say what he would change. He said plus one dismember, plus one e in the word, and cut two things. That sounds reasonable. Uh, also, this hand sounds reasonable. Force is money. Force is money. Do you find yourself trimming an amulet more often post for now that we have eight amulets? No. Trimming an amulet has not been a thing since like 2016 or something. Uh, this is gonna be bad if he has force. Please don't have force, just say. Uh, be nice to me. Don't have force. Don't do it. I think I'm gonna need your own land. Hey, no force. Sick. Sick. Are we hard casting force? Because that would not be sick. 
That seems like a hard cast force of vigor. Yeah. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, that's rough. How is harvest? Uh, it hasn't been particularly great so far, if I'm being honest. It's been kind of whatever. Can I find the land? Can I? No, not that one. That one. <laughs> Whoops. Land. Nope. Sadness. So his hand is packed. Pool. Can I find the land, please? Yes. Yes. Oh, okay. He brought in Pact of Negation. Interesting. I think I need more mana. Just gonna name land here. Sure. I'm not forcing this. Dry is, is the only thing that matters, really. So his hand is Summoner's Backed breeding pool, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, because last turn they played a saga. So they have packed breeding pool. So now Titan. There's a Titan. Um, breeding pool and unknown. Is Dry more important than Prime Pain and Mirror? Yes. Yes, it is. So we got a tap and we can win? Does he not have Ghost Quarter? He has to have an answer to the Dryad. But at least we get to kill the Titan anyways, so this seems fine to me. So I'm just gonna pay like so. So I just play the land first so that I can have a fetch land available. And then I can get double Balakut off of this prime time. We go face. And if this going face resolve, then we can fetch and kill him. And if they didn't resolve, then we can fetch and kill the Titan in a response. So it was very important to keep up the fetch and the ghost quarter because we can ghost quarter ourselves and we can kill the Titan or kill them at this point. Three and out. Next great. 
now that we have successfully managed to figure out who's the better Titan Talk uh, podcast co-host, we move on to round number four. Um, we can do better than this. <laughs> Just say coming back with the tier one for two full years. Moto Shuffle always screwing me over this absurd. What is this crap? Hot damn, can't even. I know. Feels bad. Feels bad, man. This is rough, but I'll keep it. Not like I have any options. Yeah, GG's, she said. He was playing a poorer version. When you say poorer, what do you mean? Like you were not playing sagas? Something suggested by Will. Hmm. Just different. Yeah, I'm still trying to figure out. I don't know whether Harvest is good or not. I'm I'm really struggling to to uh, analyze that. Um, and I'm also struggling to figure out whether I want. Oh, hello. Struggling to figure out um, whether I want. Uh, like the, I I'm 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 not loving the battlements. I don't think. <sighs> Kind of feels like I'm gonna be exactly one turn short, right? Which sucks. Why didn't we cast our dryads? Oh, I could have casted my dryads. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. Like obviously, I could have gone like bounce like ugh. Well, that was that was just embarrassing. Jeez, that was really bad. I'm just hanging out today. I'm not even thinking about what, what I'm doing. Um, is this a bad matchup? Uh, I don't know. Like, I, I've not played against Ad Nauseam in months. So I don't know whether this or this deck is good now or I just don't know. I think I'm gonna go get now that I punted and I didn't cast a Titan there, which I could have because I'm stupid. I think I can transmute for. Cavern. Corrected by house, close stream, move to Nepal, become a monk. Yeah, that sounds that sounds reasonable actually. Is Battlements better right now? I don't know. I threw that game. Honestly, could I have won? I guess, yeah, I, if, if I had played my Dry as a turn earlier, I probably would have won. Yeah, so I just threw that game. Anyhow. Um... Those cards are good, that card is not, that one is not.
So this is gonna be a turn four Titan. Um, turn three uncounterable Dryad, turn four uncounterable Titan. So I think this is a fine keep on the play. I, I probably would move at this on the draw, however. But I think on the play, this could be fine. Yeah, uh, Abnosium has started showing up lately. I don't know why. Like, is it good now or something? Profane Tutor. Yeah, but like, does that make the deck good now or, or what? That's neat. It's a good one to have access to. So many tutors. I honestly wonder if you like if you want to oh wow um yeah we go for ah uh, do we go for dryad here or do we go for asusa asusa means that i can make the titan encounterable dryad doesn't make the titan encounterable I can haste the Titan if I play Asusa, so that seems better. Guess I can do this. Giant, this, giant, this is six and one, uncounterable titan, we're gonna do simic growth chamber, Battleman's Growth Chamber. Bounds. Play my last land drop. Haste. And now we have to maximize the damage output. Uh, I guess Saga is not gonna is not gonna come to be relevant, so I'm just gonna go with Valakut. Balak T West. On life is bug, by the way. What is what does that mean? So if my opponent has all the pieces and the counter magic, then we are dead. But like it is what it is, right? If they have the perfects, we, we just lose. Please don't have the counter, please don't have the counter.
they had the counter. It's possible they also had another oracle too. Okay, we lost. It's kind of mind blowing how boring this deck is. <laughs> it's kind of mind blowing how boring it is. Anyway, there are people for everything, I guess. See you for the last round. Damn, for the last round, getting paired against Doom Wake. Yeah, let's keep this. I'm gonna name Known Land with Abundant Harvest, I think. Your friends say Amulet is boring. You should get new friends. Harvest is good because it either draws you a Titan or brings you closer to drawing one. I don't know like I haven't I played only one league it's been kind of strange to me like I like for example I wish I had found like an amulet or something else but instead I found a titan and like I already had a titan so like I discard like didn't really achieve anything for me it was still correct for me to cast it and everything but like it just I, I am nowhere closer to where I was <laughs> in terms of I am closer than I am like but I need I didn't need a Titan I already had a Titan and it doesn't really do anything to like improve my sequencing or anything like that I guess that I don't have to pact for a Titan now but like I didn't have an issue pacting for a Titan I don't think I'm playing around like this card or anything. Play this, play this. Um, yeah, let's play the expedition map here because I don't think that my life total really matters. I think uh, that Doom is playing the, the blue black as small deck for what's worth. Yep, that's what's going on. There's a small. Not having main deck bog. Kind of rough here. What do I even get? I do have the expedition map to go find another Valak if I have to. I think I just find a bounce land. Um, actually, let's get another, let's get it. Growth Chamber. Growth Chamber and Valakut. Bounce this, play that. Say go. So now, He's gonna make a fool, he's gonna kill the prime time. Which sucks, but it's kind of what it is. He's not gonna have enough food to kill the. He's not gonna have enough food to kill the. the uh, Dryad 2, which is the good part for me. Second cookbook, thought more, that's a problem. Uh, 
uh, well, we lose now, right? So now we're fucked. Guess not. We have to get a dryad here. Uh, we have to get a yeah no that that's exactly what I meant. We have to get a dryad here. a fine top there let's say <laughs> unless he has like a fatal push or something it should be good here good that's good that is definitely good like I don't love the bog but I guess that it's fine because of uh, because of Emery all of these cards just sound reasonable to me trucker probably sucks uh, yeah we have a Susan They could have killed Asusa, but like we just cle clear their boards, right? The innocuous Asusa. I think that deck plays uh, rebuke, right? I'm fairly sure that deck plays rebuke. The randomly drawn expedition map winning the game, by the way. It's pretty funny. They can wait for you to commit on killing them and then kill Asusa on bounce trigger so they get another turn with at least some board left. Well, but I'm going to lead on killing the Asmo. That's why I went for killing the Asmo with my very first trigger. Because once I kill the Asmo, I can do whatever I want. So with the, I don't know if you noticed, but like the first trigger that I resolved went at the Asmo. I definitely want to cut packs because uh, I guess that my opponent definitely has Ashiok, so I guess there's that. It's definitely an argument for cutting that. Just gonna cut one more explore. I'm I'm definitely not sure about this this cyborg configuration. Like I'm I'm not experienced enough. Like this deck is exactly one week old, so <laughs> not even one week. Like. I think Kane played it this weekend, and I, I have not seen anybody play the deck before I saw the, the I saw Kane playing it, so I'm not familiar enough with this version of the deck. Definitely shipping this though. Okay.
Yeah, the full deck is really hard to find. I mean, that's why it's, it's I think, the best deck in the format, right? It's just, it has so many angles of attack. And, like, this draw is, you know, if just going turn one Asmo, it's kind of unbeatable. By a lot of decks, including ours. <laughs> uh, okay. So, I think we chill here. Okay. Not bad. Slaying Triad. Play that. And I'm playing the Wooded Foothills instead of playing one of the Bounce Lands, uh, because if I find any, any non-Bounce Land, I can start triggering Valakut. So that's a reasoning. Sure. Amulet. Ifeno coming back for the 26th month. Over a year, Ifeno. Thank you so much for the continued support. Welcome back to the Primetime Stronghold once again. How's it going? How's the list reading you so far? Uh, pretty well. Can't complain. Can't complain at all. Uh, there's no way I get punished for this attack, right? This is just a free attack. Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh man, five gifted stuff from Ifeno. Thank you so much, Ifeno. Really, really appreciate the support. T Pass, Noob Fragger, Kilgore, Kilgore Trout, Average Joe 40, and Death by TV. Thank you so much, and welcome to the Primetime Stronghold. That's a cookbook. I'm killing Doom's 5-0 Dreams. Yes! Exactly. Nice rebuke, nerd. don't love to see it, but you gotta do what you gotta do, right? Pew! I said pew. So he needs one more card plus one more Asmo. He has it. Wow, brutal. We are going to get to kill the Asmo, though, which is nice. Because we, we have the fetch going on. We do have nothing going on, though. Prime time? Hey. Hey! 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 Good, 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 got him! West of Tularia, south of the GG. Could not have put it in, in better words. That was nice. That was nice. That was nice. 
Um, clean four and one. Clean four and one. To be fair, it helped a lot that we got paired against back to back uh, Boomer Johns in rounds one and two. So can't complain about that too much. Um, good old eighty percent win rate. Never a five zero. Never ever a five zero. But living that eighty percent win rate life for sure. Living that eighty percent win rate life. Uh, that's going to be it for this league. Thank you so much. I will be playing another one, so don't forget to check out that video. Hit the like and subscribe button, and I will see you there. Bye-bye.